Hi guys, thanks for watching What's On My Plate. So for tonight, we have 16 bean soup. There's two brands you can use. Tonight, I'm doing the Goya brand. Um, there's another brand, I actually forgot the name of it. Uh, the other brand has the ham con concentrate packet in it. Um, otherwise, there's not that much difference. So this is what we need. I'll bring this over here so you can see. Also, in my description, I will write down the uh, ingredients for you. So, 16 bean soup, one 16 ounce bag of 16 bean soup mix from Goya. This is what it looks like. I don't know why it's called soup mix, because there's just the beans. So, uh, just how to say that. Um, one medium diced onion. One can, 15 ounce, diced tomatoes. Six cups of water, one at eight ounce boneless ham steak, which is like this. Any kind you want. Literally, this is uh, under $2 or under $3. Um, and uh, because this Goya bag doesn't have anything but the beans in it, you have to buy the ham flavored concentrate is what I was talking about. This is the ham concentrate. This is the box it comes in. So you have to buy this if you're making the soup. But there is another brand they didn't have it that day in the store that actually has the beans and the concentrate in it. So here's um, my diced onions and everything I need is right here. So I will show you that um, I did follow the directions on the bag. Um, basically, I just decided I was going to make this today. Um, took the beans according to their package. I've never done, done this before. So because I didn't soak the beans overnight, it says to put four cups of water in a pot with the beans and let it get to a boil and cook it for two minutes. That's what I did and let it sit for an hour. So basically, you'll see the, the skin comes off of some of these. See? Um... If they're floating around, it's okay if you eat them, but like you can like pick through th through some of them if they're just floating up and around. You don't have to like rub every single bean, okay? So basically, I'm going to just drain these and uh, we will get started. Hi guys, so I put my onions in a skillet. They're diced onions. I'm going to add a little sprinkle of salt because... The salt makes the onion start to sweat and start cooking. That's what I feel. So they are going to sweat and start cooking. Now, what I did is that piece of um, boneless ham steak, it's not, in, it's not on the recipe on the bag. This is what I'm adding to it. So um, I cut that in little cubes. I mean, what's going to be better than having um, this 16 bean soup with little chunks of ham in it, especially since the ham concentrate is added for the flavor, why not have the pieces of ham? So these are just going to go about five minutes here. They're gonna start getting translucent. Um, the other side, I'm gonna start adding my ham cubes because I want them to get a little bit of um, flavor. So here we go. They already have flavor, but you know what I'm saying, just like, get them a little bit cooked in here so here we'll just do that so again I diced it up you can see how little the dices are there we go so um, they're just gonna go in here they'll, they'll be done when the onions are done we just want them to get a little cooked look how good okay so we're adding this to the soup again this is not on the directions of the soup I'm adding this um, just because I've done this before. I've used this 16 bean soup before, but again, there's another brand and, um, I, I'm getting, I'm just forgetting the name of it, but, um, they're both good. Okay. So let them, I'm going to just make the heat a little bit higher. Let's get these a little bit, uh, sauteed. The flavor will come out when they start to brown. Okay. So this is the step that I'm at now. I drained my beans. 
and uh, we're just gonna leave this here for another few minutes. Total time, I would say like between five to seven minutes when the ham's added. Okay, this is looking good and smelling great. Okay, so um, I will uh, get to the next step for you okay. guys. Okay, so I have it on high heat. We gotta get this to a boil. Here's the ham concentrate. You add that right in. Mix it up. Okay, I apologize. I have dogs. They're barking. So what I'm going to do is add my onion and my ham. Get this all going now. It's all in there. Okay, let it get to a boil. We do need a bay leaf too, so I will add the bay leaf. Coming right up. Okay. And I'm not adding salt and pepper yet. I want to taste it. Uh, I usually don't. I usually don't taste my food. Um, you know, while it's cooking, I expect to to have it done right because um, a lot of the recipes I make. Um, all the time so I know what it needs and what it doesn't this I haven't made in a while um, I made it last like uh, fall so there it is um, everything's in there we're getting it to a boil and then um, some of the uh, things that um, I'm telling you which is the six cups of soup not six cups of soup six cups of water the bay leaf the um, onion they're all in um, the package direction. So basically, we're going to, um, let's see, reduce it and cover and simmer until tender. So I'm gonna go and say about 30 minutes after it starts boiling, simmer it for 30 minutes. Let's hope those uh, beans are tender because again, I usually soak the beans overnight. I did not do that this time because I didn't know I was making this. I had picked the beans up the other day at the store and um, I was just like, let me do that. Let me just make this. So that's pretty much it. We got a bag of beans, diced onion. We're going to put the diced tomato in. Not yet, but we will put it in. Six cups of water, one boneless ham steak, one tablespoon of olive oil, uh, one bay leaf, one ham concentrate packet, and some salt and pepper to taste. So what I'm going to do is um, the oil was basically... Uh, I put a little bit when I sauteed the onion, just a little bit, and um, I'm just going to add a tablespoon of oil in here. So I will go ahead and uh, do that. Okay, one second, let me get the oil. I apologize if my camera is moving. So let's just do a tablespoon. Okay, that's it guys, get it to a boil. Um, I would put the lid on because you don't want all the juice and the fluid to disappear on you. Um, so we're going to leave it like this. Let it get to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, I'm going to add the 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Hey guys, so my soup cooked for the 30 minutes. I tasted it and it's pretty good. The only thing is it needs more cooking time because all the beans are a little bit more hard so cook it longer than the 30 minutes just taste it as you go to ensure that the beans are tender for you okay so um, that's really all you need to do so obviously the cooking time is more than 30 minutes so the package directions which said to you know put them in a pot with four cups of water and get it to a boil for two minutes and to let it sit for an hour in that water it needed more cooking time so basically 30 minutes um, wasn't enough but the package does say cook until tender so we're gonna um, just finish it by cooking it for another I'm gonna put it on for another 20 minutes um, but otherwise the flavors all there you just need them to be more tender so this is the soup look how great all the flavors there we just got to get these beans to be tender. Okay, thanks guys.